to you. This is a show without breaks. Hi, Liz. Hi. Thanks for your patience, dear. Oh, I'm so deeply honored to be in such great company oh, this geez. morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> David Orr was my alderman for many years when I lived in Rogers Park. The I best. I live in Edgewater. The best. And uh, just uh, just wonderful to be uh, listening to the, the 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 man who was talking about signing up students to be able to vote in from their campuses. That's so important because the people who are the most energized, who are going to do the most for us, are the students. These are the people that Usually. are going to be moving the country forward, and they need to be given as much access to their right to vote as possible. And wow, this uh, this uh, this talk about uh, affordable health care and the health care bill. I do think too that the more people know about it, the more they're going to love it and embrace it. And we can't say that it's costing us any money. It hasn't even kicked in yet. doesn't until 2014, a lot of things. But wow, as a woman, I'm so very excited about it. Liz, uh, Spread the word. Clearly we need an engineer, but I mean, you could host a show the way you're talking. You know oh, that, wow. Well, you? I pay attention. <laughs> you know, this is very early for me to be up on a Saturday morning. I'm a musician. So this, but, you know, here I am firing. amongst these wonderful people making such great contributions to our community. And I'm very, very honored to be here. And thank you so much for having me on the show. And you have a new album you out. It's called Clarksdale. Yes, although I am a Chicagoan and I have based my music career out of Chicago since uh, 1983 when I started my first band here in Rogers Park, Liz Manville and the Supernaturals, way back when. I, uh, I had a sideline in my career. I had some, some terrible female problems and I was, had to have surgery and so I was sidelined for almost two years recovering from that. And uh, thank God my husband had, uh, had insurance or mm -hmm. that would have cost me $75,000 dollars out of my own pocket and as a woman who had to get married in order to have insurance I very much appreciate what the president has done for us. Are you still married? Yes I am. Thank God. The guy was good enough to <laughs> stay married to even after I used him for his insurance. <laughs> yeah my husband good is choice, awesome. Liz. He is. But after that I was sort of like well do I really want to go back to a life in the blues? It's an awful lot of traveling. It's, it's grueling. It's not something where you're ever going to have the fame of a Beyonce. But on the other hand I get to meet so many people and see the country firsthand because I'm driving across the country. So it really is. It's a double edged sword. And uh, I was thinking, wow, I can just be a housewife. I can just sit up in, in Andersonville and enjoy my garden and my dog. But no. But <laughs> my friends kept coming by and saying, what have you written? Where have you been? What have you done? And my one friend said, well, you know what? You really need to make a pilgrimage down to Clarksdale, Mississippi. This is where all the great Chicago blues men came from. We think and of Buddy Waters. where Tanya Black A came from. Why are you saying what? Our uh, we had a chef. chef named Tanya who was uh, out of Clarksdale. Out of Clarksdale. Clarksdale, Mississippi. Yes, yeah. indeed. Oh, well, the food is awesome. Well, the, she was a great cook. The mm -hmm. history, so much history. I went down there and I stayed at a place called the Riverside Hotel. And it was famous. First of all, it was a colored hospital way back in the day when they didn't have integration. Right. Uh, segregation was rampant. And the great Bessie Smith was taken to this building when it was a colored hospital. This was where she spent her last days after that tragic car accident that claimed her. So there is the Bessie Smith room. And then later years, it became a men's only uh, hotel. And men like um, Muddy Waters, Little Walter, Jimmy Rogers, the Howlin' Wolf and all their band members used to stay there when they were traveling. I went there and I stayed in the Muddy Waters room. And <laughs> even though it's a men only place? What's well, up they've with that, changed Liz? the rules since oh, okay. then. There's no way I could pass. Uh, we're all sorry. about the rules changing. <laughs> Earl, what give you, us what a you, tune. What are you going to sing? Well, for us? I wrote a song when I was there, and it's called Clarksdale, and it tells that very same story about my trip to the Riverside. <laughs> Whoa, that was loud. Here I am. Wait, it sounds like I've got chorus on. No? That sounds better. All right? Sound okay? Yeah, Liz Mandible. I went down to Clarksdale. Wait now don't you, don't you hear me talking to you Down in Clarksdale At the Blue Motel Well I 
saw the ghost of Miss Bessie where that great lady fell. I was smoking in them cornfields down by the cotton fields. I was smoking at the crossroads by them cotton fields. I was smoking with a long come old devil him trying to make a deal. He said, I'll put you on the top if you just sign on the line. I said, no matter what you give me, devil, I will never be satisfied. In Clarkston, Mr. Rat keep the key. He never put nobody out. Stay as long as you please. Johnson at the Rock and Blues Museum. Well, he was looking at a picture some fella made of him. He said, don't listen to the devil. Do not sign on the line because you'll have hellhounds on your trail and you will still not be satisfied when Mr. Rat keep them keys. Stay as long as you please I went down to Clarksdale Stayed at the Blues Motel Now don't you, don't you hear me talking I said down in Clarksdale At the Blues Motel I saw the ghost of Miss Bessie Where that green lady fell I know you're you're All warmed right. up. One more, come on. One more while you're warmed up and well, in such good voice. My wonderful husband is not only a great guy with a great job and, and wonderful insurance. insurance. <laughs> he's also a soldier. He's a ta he's Illinois National Guard attached to the Army, and. Uh, I had never been with anybody in my life. I was with the guys who were demonstrating against the war and running away to Canada, that kind of... But this man is really a gung-ho American patriot and a soldier and very proud to serve. And it's given me a whole new perspective on what it means to be an American. And uh, one of the things that I was really... Uh, quite excited about was uh, all the women I've seen in uniform it, with regard to my husband's deployments that there are women in combat and I think there are a lot of a lot of attention is being given to the soldiers and especially since we've been in these wars lately that are so that are so public and so uh, hotly contested but I thought the women warriors deserve their own anthem and so I wrote them one Feel free to share it with any of your service members. This is called My Mama Wears Combat Boots. Mm -hmm. Back when I was a kid in school, the other kids could be so cruel. They would tease and they would taunt. Get a rise is what they want. One cut that would never lose was a, your mama wears combat boots. My mama wears combat boots. My mama's got a gun that shoots. She put a new spin on power suits because my mama wears combat boots. In the schoolyard when the dozens played, this was the kind of thing that they said. They said, your mama's so dumb, your mama's so fat, but my mama don't resemble that. <laughs> if you want to hear all the news, it's my mama wears combat boots. 
My mama wears combat boots My mama's got a gun to shoot She put a new spin on power suits Because my mama wears combat boots She used to minivan, she used to carpool Every day she got the kids to school But mama, she ain't got no time for that She's doing a second tour in Iraq So if you want to hear all the news it's a, My mama wears combat boots My mama wears combat boots My mama's got a gun to shoot She put a new skin on power suits Because my mama wears combat boots my mama wears combat boots. My mama wears combat boots. Woo! Let's yeah. hear it from Liz Mandeville. Liz Mandeville. From Thank you so album, much. Thank Clark's you for having Dale. me. You've been listening to the Live from the Heartland Show, brought to you every Saturday morning over WLUW 88.7 Chicago Sound Alliance, from the, live from the stage here at the Heartland Cafe in the corner of Glenwood and Lunt. And we want to encourage you all to do good in the world because... The world needs all the good you do. Okay, all power to the people over and out. Don't forget to register to vote. All right. Bye-bye. All right, so we should invite everyone back on. Yeah. And uh, she, 